So when I saw that, I'm like, all right. And Sam Campbell's gonna do his little hit him in the head with the legs. Like he's gonna do, he's gonna hit him in the head with the, you know what I'm saying? I thought he's gonna, he's gonna do all that shit, you know what I'm saying? In person. Yeah, son. The whole, like, yo, know, my whole YouTube career, the niggas been trying to blackball me, shit on me. A motherfucking rat blessed me and got me sitting at a table with millionaires. The motherfucking rat reached out to me. I ain't, I don't know this nigga from a hole in the wall. And a fucking rat believed in me when everybody else, yo, I got family members that shit on me. I got family members that, yo, I got, hold up. You see videos while I saw Campbell breaking down on the fucking internet crying. And also, by the way, Hassan, like, no, you catch a rope. It's a... Um... Watching the watching the actual clip itself, um, I I I think Hassan Campbell himself underperformed a bit, especially well, when well. it when it came to him talking to Six Nine. Well, well. There's a lot of rats walking around right now. I'm in I'm in, fuck a room. I'm in a building with gangsters, nigga. And that's standing on what they stand on. You were here with tribal leaders, warriors. Look, look, hit me warriors. up, hit me up. I mean, hit that is a red flag towards his message, fam. Mm. You understand, fam? That's that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, yo, if over the years you're saying, yo, don't associate with rats, this, this, that, yo, like rats are bad for the community. This nigga's tearing oh, down what? the black community. So hold on, hold on, hold on. But hold on, hold on. I'm tearing down the black community, but then when you see the nigga in person. Mm. For the first time, you say the nigga's a king. Yeah, fact. He's got an army. That's a big flag, bro. It's like I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying her son didn't say certain real things to him on the interview, but to me, her son kind of he done a bit of a, I don't want to say a full one eighty, but he was a bit too lenient for me. I'm here comfortable with all my jewelry on. I don't get touched, and I'm like this everywhere I go. I don't think you have to prove that point. I don't gotta prove that point, but listen. You're a millionaire. But put it like this, look, hear me out. You're a millionaire. Put it like this. Pussy getting money on the east side. I dropped a pen and told that bitch pull up. DJ Academics, WAC 100, Hassan Campbell, and yeah, what's it, 6 9 innit? A six nine. So obviously, academics had a little interview. A little, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, a, it was one of those ones where, if it popped up on your timeline, you were shocked. You know what I'm saying? You got big act. That's my guy. Whack one hundred. Hassan Campbell and my fucking ratatouille himself. Bro. Yeah, that's six a, that's nine, a mad bro. lineup. Six nine. I mean, bro, come on, man. You, if you see that. On your recommended, so you're gonna click on it straight. Like, away. even if it's like five minutes, I'm still gonna knock Bro, it. You're, gonna, you're gonna click on it. I mean, to, to put to put that those type of personalities in one room, I gotta give like props to Ak on that one. Ak, Ak, you here to stay. No matter what niggas say, you here to stay. But, alright, cool. So, we're gonna start off with the interview before we get to the aftermath and all the madness happened. So we start off here yeah, with the interview. Um, I I personally have not watched the full interview. I've only seen um the clips that that have been put out, but apparently the, the full footage has come out and all that all of that. But I ain't watched the full video. I've I've basically seen the important bits, the bits that everyone's talking about. So we're gonna start off with the interview itself. So we've got Ak, we've got Hassan Campbell, we've got. 6 9 himself. Now, when when you first saw those trio here yeah, on the lineup, what was your thoughts, fam? What is the subject? What are they going to be talking about? That's the well, first they, thing. They are the subject. What yeah. are they going to start talking well, about? Well, with, with, with WAC 100 on it, you, any subject could come up. You know what I'm saying? But to be fair, when I saw it, because I know um, her son Campbell's always been like throwing jabs at 6 9 for the reckless dumbness he does, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's always just gone in on 6 9 So when I saw that, I'm like, all right, the Sam Campbell's gonna do his little, hit him in the head with the legs, like, he's gonna do, <laughs> he's gonna hit him in the head with the, you know what I'm saying? I thought he's gonna, he's gonna do all that shit, you know what I'm saying, in person. 
Um, watching the watching the actual clip itself, um, I I I think Hassan Campbell himself underperformed a bit, especially well, when well. it. When it came to him talking to six nine, well, the, the co stars were a bit too big for him. De- definitely, I feel. Wack, I mean, Hassan Hassan Campbell was a bit starstruck by um six nine and Wack one hundred. But my thing is this, yeah. And shoot me down if anyone thinks I'm wrong. So I'm, I'm about consistency. Yeah? And Hassan Campbell, when he's alone on the YouTube videos, he's pretty consistent with his message. So when he's when he's doing an interview with six nine. Whack 100s there. I'm thinking, all right, he's not. He's gonna lay into six now, but he's just gonna let him know, like, you know what I'm saying? The shit you're doing. Energy. Yeah, the shit you're doing is wrong, and he's just gonna see it to his face, innit? Now, when the interview happens, I'm hearing Hassan Campbell call um um six nine a king. He's got an army. He's this. He's that. He's, he's, he, the, 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 the nigga was more. I don't want to see him sucking up to him or kissing his ass, but I just felt he was a bit starstruck when him and Six Nine was talking, and then him and Six Nine was going back and forth about his whole snitching thing and all of that. And I'm not gonna lie, Hassan Campbell definitely put him in his place in certain points, but what I didn't get was the way Six Nine was ranting and raving and screaming and trying to prove his point that you know what, snitches live in the hood and. Niggas don't do nothing to snitches and all of that. I, I don't I don't understand the correlation to him, but I get why he would bring it up. But my thing is here is is what was your thoughts on Hassan's Hassan Campbell's um delivery in that interview? Man? You know what? I think with Hassan, right, this was like his first big stage. Like the first time he's got his name up there with like the big boys, so He's just come on a networking kind of vibe. Yeah, definitely. He hasn't come on a, you know what I mean, I've come to be Hassan Campbell. He's just on a networking, let me just try and get some emails and, you know what I mean, we can link up later and do something because obviously with 6 9 his music career is dead. Like, that's over. Yeah, 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 but when yeah, it comes yeah. to content-wise, YouTube, stuff like that, like, he's still going to be around. He'll still yeah. have, it's like certain arts you see on Instagram and social feeds, they've got crazy numbers, but when they drop that album, it's what? 10,000 sold Whoa, and it's, you, it's you a see rap. You numbers for There we go. So yeah, he come on a, a networking vibe. He hasn't really come to Spitfire. So, yeah. Hassan, you took that out, son. No, I, I definitely would say he come on a networking vibe. I definitely would say he came on a mature, on a mature aspect, like on a mature frequency. But I did want him to just be real with 6 9 and, and just stand on his square, not, not be calling him a king and He's got an army and shot he fucked up and it's not his fault and I don't know, I just feel like do you feel at one point her son was being a bit too lenient towards um six nine? I think anyone that's interviewing six nine or sitting down with him, you have to just watch interviews with this guy. All he does is shout. Yeah. yeah that's all he does. And that's how he kinda of moves on from point to point. So if I was Hassan, I'd have been like, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna tie him down today. I'm not even going to let him slip any question. If he tries to move it off, I don't care if it's 20, 30 minutes yeah. later, I'm bringing it back because this guy gets away with bullshit. Hassan should have knew he was coming anyway. You know, I mean? so, know who you're going to be on the platform with. Know about their, their personality and how they do, you know, how they conduct their shows and how they conduct themselves in interviews and situations or sit downs or whatever. But feels like Hassan just came there on a networking vibe yeah. that's going to piss people off and then. Do you, do you reckon he was dick riding 6 9 a little bit? I think with 6 9 situation, it's it's he's looking for a crossover, kind of, not even a crossover, but even just to get him on his platform. Like, that's how I see uh, it. Uh, like, what, get 6 9 on Hassan's platform? There we go. Like, yeah. He's going to come to a point where Hassan's trying to make that cross into the big YouTuber land and shit. Like interviewing that. guys and shit. So yeah. obviously he's going to do a live show and he's going to start He's going to start ramping it up. You know what I mean? His okay. numbers are there. People are locking in, yeah. So he's 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 doing his thing, you know. Uh, so yeah, I feel enough. like you know what he's gonna try and get six nine on his platform, and try and fire some questions at him. And hopefully that, in my opinion, uh, to win that one, yeah. is just have six nine in the room by himself and just try and pick. I'll be honest with you, man. I think even him trying to network with six nine contradicts everything he says. To be honest, like I, 
I don't even see why he'd even want to network with Six Nine. I understand why he'd want to network with Wack One Hundred because it's obvious the guy's a manager in it. But obviously, networking with Six Nine would bring more attention to your channel. But then it just goes against everything he's I'll been saying. What, I'll tell you why you're wrong. Bro. Because obviously, Hassan was going to do a podcast with Wack, and you have to network with people like that. Like yeah, 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 yeah. No but that's, that's that's different. That's doing not a, different. It's doing the same a podcast lane. with Wack is different. The same lane. To doing a podcast with Six Nine, especially no, no, no. As in doing a six a platform with Six Nine. No, I'm, I'm just like, saying. Hey, I'm just saying, bro. Like I'm saying, yeah, him coming to Axton, Wack's there, Six Nine's there, car minute. But for him to reach out to Six Nine. And then try to plan a future endeavor with the nigga he's been getting onto for the last couple of years. They're definitely spitting facts about him, but in person, you've dumbed it down a bit so that you can network with him and bring him on your platform. I don't know. I just see that as a bit of a contradiction to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but you know what kind of what overrides that? Go on. The numbers that are coming. Ah, bro, come on, man. We, bro, if content if, 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 all about the numbers. If that's the case, then bro, we gotta give Hitler his props, fam. <laughs> It's true though, fam. He had the numbers, right? The nigga ran the whole fucking country and went to war with the world, fam. Even though he lost, cuz. Like, bro, it's like, cuz, like, I get what you're saying, but my thing is this, yeah? Alright, cool. Let's, 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 let's take 6 9 out of the equation. If, if, um, Hassan Campbell does a sit down with Jim Jones, would you find that as, as, as he's contradicting himself? Sit down with him. That's a what? A conversation? Bro, same way as he's networking with Net no, 6 9 Bro, for me, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, fam. I, I don't, I, it don't make sense to me, innit? If I'm there, yeah, making videos. I'm, I'm looking yeah. at it from a, a YouTuber's point of view. And I might, well, I might, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might be, <clears throat> I might be a little bit cynical, but yeah. it all just comes down to peace. Like if it's gonna yeah, get your but views that's in, that's an easy answer to give, bro. That's why I brought up the Hitler example, innit? I'm just saying that, bro. If you're on camera, yeah, and you're talking to the youth, you're like, look, man, you guys are gonna do better than these niggas. Your your aim, your big strategy is to sit down with the guys that you're telling you are doing better. Hassan called him a rat in the interview, but it overrided everything when you start calling man a king. He's got an army, like bro. That that guy doesn't need no ego boost whatsoever, in it. And 
I just I just wanted her son to just let him know the rule. Like when when um six nine was screaming, yeah, this this that nigga snitching, I'm gangster. He's like, bro, you're not gangster, fam. Like you're just not gangster, bro. Like, like, you know what I'm saying, fam? Like, you're you're trying your best to prove that I snitch and I can be gangster at the same time. Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know what you yeah, I, I, I don't I don't get that. I don't get that. But for me, I just feel her son Campbell could have just gone a bit more because six nine was more grilling. I mean, Wack one hundred was grilling six nine more than her son Campbell. Yeah, Wack put his foot. On. He put his foot on his neck. Wack Wack was making some points, but one thing Wack said, yeah, in the academics thing, yeah, is that he said. He was pressing her son Campbell throughout the interview. Now you've watched the whole interview. Did you get that impression that Wack 100 was pressing her son Campbell? I never felt that energy. I definitely didn't feel that energy. It's one of them ones where it's like everyone perceives things differently. Like you might be in a room with people and just having a vibe, but somebody else is under pressure somewhere. You know what I mean? It depends on how you perceive things. And her son to me. His perception is just out of whack. Like he just, he's, he's really good at just changing narratives. Like really good, like you could be in the same room, same situation, everyone's on the same page, you leave, you come back and he's on a different storyline. And yeah. that's, that's a song. Dude, song Campbell, yeah. Yeah, he, he's good at painting these mad narratives and he does make them seem a lot believable. And I definitely agree with you. Um, As far as when it comes to like whack 100, Pressing Hassan Campbell, I didn't see it to be honest. I, yeah, I didn't see to it. me, it looked like such a good episode. It looked like every man was having fun. Everyone's here to network. To be honest, it looked like they made history. To be honest, that's that's what that that's what I got from that episode. Whether I thought um Hassan Cam- Campbell didn't go hard enough on six nine, when I first saw that, I saw the clip and I saw the thumbnail, whatever. I was like, yo, Axe, Axe making big moves. He's Axe he's getting back. he's getting like the, the who the people want to see to come on his show. So when Wax likes saying, yo, he pressed her son Campbell by asking him, yeah, did he like it and all of that, like, bro, I I'll be real with you, I I didn't get that impression because Wax whack in it, bro. Wax Wax just seems like that type of cheeky guy. To ask them type of thing, so I I didn't really get the impression that Wack was unpressing her son Campbell in it. But then now, let's go to the aftermath of the interview, bro. Now, what have you heard about what took place after the interview? Nothing much, to be honest, you know. You haven't heard nothing much. You've been living under a rock, for My bad, my bad. You've been living. Ah, go on, go on. Tell me what you heard before I before I blow the mic away. No homo. 